Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is while hunting crabs, which I went ahead and did, uh, one thing you can do to uh, protect yourself from damage is to run, kind of like a run and gun kind of strategy. You hit it and then run over to the right or left if the crab's on your right. And uh, basically the idea is your weapon is longer range than the crab's pinchers do. So you can hit it, run away, wait for your strike time to load up again so you can go over, hit it, run away so you don't have to pause right next to him the whole time. So therefore, you can get him and he can't get you. Now, uh, about skills, those things that I bought before, you get them by leveling up. I just leveled up to level 3, so now I have 2 TP. However it is that you get those, I guess that. So now I can hit swimming. Swimming means that if I'm standing on the edge of this and I get boarded, or if I'm standing on someone else's edge, or I'm on the edge of the beach and someone hits me and I fall into the water, rather than drown and die immediately, I just pop back up on the end of the stack after a little bit. Now you see these things that keep popping up on your ship? That is crap. Literally. Crap. Um, so that decreases your morale, I think, and probably health, too. It's just generally not a good thing, so whenever possible you want to get the cleaning thing to be able to do it. I would go back to the shop, except I only have 38, and sure, that's enough to go ahead and get cleaning, but let's, let's go either look at another island or do something else. Uh, my plan for this one... Oh, that's another town. I can go look and see what this one is. Let's go and try to attack pirate. Now, it saves as soon as you leave the area. Every time you leave a port or whatever, it'll save. And so uh, whenever you hit the load button right here, you double click. If I were to do this now, I'd go over to just before I got to this place right here and had to fight the crabs and everyone. So we'll check out the pirate. And unfortunately, you cannot escape sea battles. But you go to an island and you look and you see that it is just way too powerful. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can just turn around and leave. You can't do that with a pirate ship. You either have to duke it out or die. So, you know. You all have your issues. Going a little slowly now. Hostile encounter. What are we going to do? Now you can choose to escape. If you're like swimming through a pirate to get to another place, you, have, you can do escape. If I try to escape now, it's going to tell me that I don't have a choice since that is our destination. So, we have to engage. They're not really random encounters. Let's see. 29 health. I have 42. I have the advantage in this one. And what I meant about the edge is I could actually try to knock him off the edge into the water. And he could do the same. He's missing me. I am very happy about that. Now he's fleeing to his own place. I can go after him. There you go. Pirates drop things, so while knocking them into the water is a possibility and it kills them really quickly, you don't get those pickups that you could have gotten otherwise. Ah. Uh, his boat looks nicer, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. I don't know what these green things are here. I think they're watermelons. They are. So, uh, yeah, I just got rid of one. I have one more watermelon. So I, you have a couple options here. They're all down here. And there's nothing to interact with since he didn't have treasure or anything aboard. I can capture a ship and take it, or I can plunder it. Oh, no, that's not plunder. That's that's mount. I mean, I suppose I could mount it too, but it wouldn't be as useful. Plunder. Now, if I hit click on plunder, it's going to destroy the ship. It's just going to blow up, and you'll get whatever was on the ship. That, uh, like, in this case, usually you get about 50 gold for a level 1, and potential other drops, uh, drops like maybe pieces of your boat that you can add to yours or something. It's good to do that when you encounter a boat that's obviously lower than yours, that you just blow it up. In this case, I think his is better than mine. I think these uh, angles mean it's going to move a little faster, so I'm going to hit capture instead. Now, I forgot to mention this. When you click capture, you want to be on your boat. Do not be on his boat and click capture. There's a glitch that happens, and it'll move you over there, but everything on the screen moves over some, so it'll drop you in the water. If you do not have the swim ability like I do, you'll just drown and die and have to start over the encounter. In this case, it doesn't matter because I have swim, but just figure you might want to know that. Do all of your actions from your ship, not theirs. It'll, it will kill you. So now, let's move to the world map. Danger level 2. That means it's going to be a bigger boat. Eventually, I think this is going to be one of them. Legendary enemy. These ones are going to be large boats. And the thing that I originally was interested in when I got it, they're boats with multiple levels, with cannons and stuff like that. I have not gotten to that point yet because I don't survive that long. Uh, it's a very slow-moving game, and honestly, I don't know much about it. So now we have two towns. Oh, no. 
There's a town over here, and there's a town up here. Let's go to this town to see what they have. I have 43 gold. It's still not enough to do anything really of any real consequence, but it's a town. You always want to keep in mind towns. Now, we are lucky with how this map was spawned. On the one that I showed you before, where I'm level 12, I've been on the 12th day, there are no towns. Everything around me was islands with, like, five natives that were all way stronger than me, and uh, so I'm really struggling on that one because it was not set up in a very feasibly uh, effective way. Wow, this is a really small one. Ooh, 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 oysters. Oysters are great. This one's really close to the water, though, so I'm a little concerned. But oysters will... Um, they will either drop pearls or they will drop oyster shells. Oh, what happened? Most wanted. Find him and kill him. Okay, sure. You can find your target at Stewart Valley. So, great. I didn't know there were random interactions like that. Let's see what he has for me. Counterattack, bandage, swimming. Oh, I want, I want, I want cleaning. That one's a must. Now we don't have enough money for anything. However, now we have these. This one's iffy. I'm probably going to lose anything I could have grabbed since I can't really get behind him and attack him. So by the time I kill him, it's very likely that the spoil is going to fly out over here in the water and I can't get it. Oh, well. Or there was just nothing. I still got experience, though. Most of the times, they will either drop oyster shells or pearls, all of which are useless as individual items, but you can sell them for a lot of money. Um, the one thing that did keep me going on that other map that I sh showed you, excuse me, <clears throat> was that I had picked up five pearls. Each of those are worth, I think, like a hundred. Something crazy like that. Anyway, I had a lot of money, so I was able to buy a lot of things. But just like this one, there was not a boat, a, uh, boat store or a parts store, so I couldn't actually upgrade my ship, which is what I really wanted. So I'm still not yet up to the late game. I'm still in early game. And they don't fight back, so they're harmless, at least so far. This game's still being updated. Okay. Well, I'm level 4 now, so I upgraded my stats, and I got an oyster shell. It's not the best thing I could have grabbed. I was hoping for a pearl, but it's still nice. Let's see how much they sell for. Click on sell down here. I'm not selling my crab meat. That's health. Uh, oyster shell. Well, that was a lot less than I thought. But still, it's 40 bucks. I did not have before. Space to interact. Oh, am I getting another one? Find your target and kill it. Go, find him. Stewart, Stewart Valley, he said. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill him with my current level, but hey, why not try? I'm excited about this one. This is actually the best setup I've had. Now watch him clean. Oh, I haven't used it yet. I'm stupid. No, not animals. And yeah, yeah. They have the face over yourself as well as the others, just so you can see what level it is. But the only way to fix this is either go to a tavern, go to a fireplace, use one of your items, which I have, or, you know, there are other things. One of them is to pay salary. This one is an option for you, but you want to use that as a last resort because yours, more than anybody else's, has a lot more ways to go up higher. Everybody else, when they get low, you have to have you use items to try to save them or bring them to a tavern or pay their salary. But when you have so little gold, this is a, a pretty, pretty uh, taxing. Let's go use this clean. There you go. Now I have the passability. I'll just toss all this crap out. And that helps your ship. Island Remlick, Junior. What is this one? Kamas. Elk Point. So I still don't know which island he wants to go. Excuse me, go to. This is level two. I will probably not be able to take it out. Was this one I had not explored? It doesn't say explored. So let's go to this island and we'll just keep searching and oh, hopefully along our path we'll find whatever guy I'm supposed to kill. Because now I'm just a lowly bounty hunter. Eventually you can, like the, if you get fishing, you need to have a fishing rod to do it. Singing. Find pleasure in taking your loot. My wacky gang of salty dogs. Love <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that was really funny. So what? Oh. I seem to be getting further and further away from the Oh crap. I didn't look before I did this. Oh, there's crates. Crates can hold some good things. And a coconut tree. Hearty. 
Uh, I don't see myself winning this one, but hey, let's look and see. Can I equip anything else? Let's see, do I have any ranged weapons? Sometimes you'll get rocks. I don't even know how you do it. I guess they just randomly get picked up. Ooh, is this better than my other one? 4, 3, 2.5, 2.3, 4, uh... Wow, it pains me to admit this, but I think I want my spe want the spear instead. It has less knockback, but that obviously doesn't matter much to me. Yeah, I am doing more damage. Well, that's a shame. I like my Falcon Sword, so it didn't take very long for me to find a replacement. But I think if I had another pirate, which was the other option, I gained experience. Yay! Go pick up the things he dropped. I got another spear. So if I have another crew member. Now, coconut tree. Interact next to it. They'll drop a couple coconuts. They're useful. They help your hunger. They help your health. Uh, no, no, no. Don't attack. Just use it. Ooh. Ooh. I got grindstones. A chef's nice. A rosary. I don't really know. I've never had one of those before. And now these things. Let's get on the other side so I don't actually knock anything into the water. This is obnoxiously slow, but you just have to wait through it. Ahoy, me yeah, um, one of the complaints I have is how slow and tedious it is to change your equipment and stuff, especially for different things like this, because in this case, I think it's faster to use my sword, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But it would be nice if I can change it really quickly. Just like click on him while he's doing things. Just shift it around some. Uh, another thing is what they deem to be a ranged weapon or not. Yeah, I get that throwing stones would be a ranged weapon. However, you could probably also use that as a really cheap melee weapon. If you had nothing else. Also, I have a spear. Spears can be thrown. I happen to know this. So, you know, maybe give it a one-time use. Retrievable. Ranged. I, I don't know. That, there should be a little more customization available, I think. Still, this game is still being developed, so I can't I can't judge it like I would an already completed game. And for what it is, I really like it. I'm having fun with this game. There you go. Go pick up another chef's knife, which sells for a grand total of like zero dollars or gold or whatever their currency is in this. Those birds, they annoy me because they always poop once they leave. Watch. Yep. Sure enough. World map. Where do I go? Level 2. Level 2. Okay. Let's go down there. That was another town, I believe. So... I... Okay. I'm, I do this thing where I accidentally hit space since I'm used to just hitting that as the action button. Which they should have allowed, but... That's so loud! You know, whatever. Like I said, this game is still being developed. I don't think it's perfect. I think it has some major issues, but I'm not... It's still a good game. I'm, I would recommend it. It's slow. It's very slow, especially at the beginning, and I expect it'll get a lot better later on when I build up, which is why I'll probably split the playthrough and have beginning and then have another one starting with episode one uh, being the later game, so you can see how it starts and how to build yourself up from there and then what you can do once you're actually building up a lot more. Maybe not. I'll just see how this progresses. I'm new to this game. I, I don't know much about it. I've looked up a little bit of info um, after I played it through and got a good feel for it to see if I was missing anything. And uh, basically, no one really knows much about it. They all say pretty much the same things I said. Oh, another oyster. Oyster Gino. You named the oysters? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Is this a boat parts? Yes, it is. This is where you go to buy parts for your your well they don't really have anything useful I guess sail speed I can get a wooden wheel grind wheel that would be really useful hand weight you strong what swivel gun I'd really like to get that before I buy anything let me go kill that oyster to see if I can gain anything else Shovel. Ooh, shovels can be good. You can just randomly find gold. However, I've not found anything immediately that makes it so useful that I'm going to spend the little amount of money I have on it right now. New weapons. That's not as good as my other, I don't think. Yeah. Nope. 
And that is my ant's dog. Well, ant and law-ish. I don't, I don't actually know what I call her. Okay, I'm also about to starve to death. Kill the oyster! Pow! Uh, just another shell. It's still a shell, though. I'll go sell it and get some money. Well, cure. That works, too. Sell. Falcon Blade. I'm not selling my Falcon Blade. And the Falcon Blade is not that much better than the Spear, so I'll see what I end up upgrading. When the time comes. I had not been hearing this with sound. The sound was very low when I was playing it, so all these sounds are rather new to me. I can't sell that, can I? No, I can only sell it at the other place. Okay. Right now, I will buy the wooden wheel, because I can use it. It's day three, by the way. In case you didn't notice, I'm not sure that you care. And notice in the ground how there are like these shark things. To the best of my knowledge, they do nothing. Literally, like I've fallen in water before. They don't eat me. I've gone fishing. I can't catch them. To the best of my knowledge, they're just there for... Uh, for what? I don't even know. For nothing. All right, let's go to le island level one because I still don't think I'm buff enough to take a level two island. They usually have like three or four natives or pirates if they were ruined. Whatever the case, they'll have three or four versus the one or two you would have otherwise. And at this point, it'd probably be good to have a crew member, but I can't really afford them because I'm not getting gold. And that's the biggest issue. The biggest issue is that you don't get gold fast enough in this game. If you did, it would allow you to progress faster. You'd actually get to the later game faster, and it could be a lot of fun. And I'm not meaning to complain a lot about it, because I understand you're supposed to have a starting point. It's supposed to be a little more rough. However, oh, I'm about to starve. Uh, ship setup, do I have any food? Dock, oh, I'm not supposed to use the, the, put the ship parts on until I dock it. Well, that was stupid of me. Uh, yeah, I don't have to use one of my items. He's not very happy either. Um, oyster shell that I can't use. Recovers some HP. I don't need HP a whole lot right now. What I do need is food. My hunger level. How do I raise that? Well, crab meat. Let me use one of these and see what it does. Where's my hunger meter? Okay. Oh, it does raise your hunger. Okay. It doesn't say it does, but it apparently does. Let's use another. Okay, that'll at least keep me alive for a little while longer. On that note, I probably should have gone to a town, not a island. A island, not an island. Yeah, there are too many people there. I would die. But... What is that sound? You know... Oh, they're monkeys. Catch that. Oh. I just it just saved, so I might as well try. They're knocking me back very far, and I am dying miserably. So now you see what happens when you lose. Oh, this is what happens when you swim. Normally that would kill you. Not when you can swim. Pop. I pop on board promptly, poop, and throw it overboard. And I died. It'll pop up the message. Game over. Press escape to exit or R to reload. And it'll load you at the last save point, which is usually, like, right there. Sure enough. It's Monkey Island. It is Monkey Island. Okay. Let's go to World Map. That's clearly some place that I cannot take right now. Neutral danger. Um, I don't have a lot of experiences with these. Before I end the video, might as well look at one. That's probably a really bad idea. I need to go to the town, go to the tavern. Let's go there, and uh, this video has gone a little long, but I'll probably head over toward the neutral so we can at least see what they do. I don't know if you can interact with them. I had one interaction with them, and I climbed aboard, and they took it as an assault and promptly killed me. Dead. And then hung me until dead. So, yeah, I'm not sure what I can do with them. Elk point. Do I have a list of, like... Yeah, let's head over to the tavern. 
And then pause it, because this is about to get really loud. I didn't realize the taverns were so loud, but I mean, it makes sense. Taverns were loud. And look at my morale going up really high. Not my hunger, though. They won't feed you at the tavern. Okay, can I... They don't. Do I have any... Oh, yeah, they say something here about your character, which is totally randomly generated. He is snarky, cynical pirate. Stir up fights between friends. I will not. I am fat. His belly budges up. I am not, despite my blubber butter name. He was a gardener. He had green thumbs, and a distinct lack of coconuts led to new change in his line of work. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to find my uh, quests. Once again, they don't have everything set up here. Like, uh, there's no way to just browse your inventory. You have to click here, which they don't say even in the tutorial. I had to figure this out on my own, on accident. Rosary. Okay. And, uh, so, I didn't pick up any rocks. No new weapons. This looks some better. 4, 3, 2.5, 2.3. Nope, that didn't change. Cutlass isn't any better. Uh, yeah, they don't have... I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping that they would have some of that. Maybe in the world map? No. Okay. Well, that seems like a major flaw there. I'm supposed to find some random guy. He's singing. <laughs> There I go. Can't really buy anything. Let me go sell at this guy's shop, though. Uh, sell. Oyster shell. Another one of those. I don't think I need... I don't need three chef's knives, so I'll get rid of at least one, and I'll hold on to the other in case I might need it for another person. And the rest of it, I'm all good. Getting a little hungry though. Ahoy, me hearty. You can kill the cat. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Ahoy, me hearty. Ahoy, me hearty. Oh, okay. Well, I was trying to abort, but okay. You get experience for killing the cat, so I mean, I guess it's free experience, but I don't know otherwise what what benefit I might have from it. See, out for food. He's the food guy. Yeah, let's make sure I don't starve to death. That's pretty expensive, but I, it'll help. And I don't think ramen spoils. Where am I? Oh, man. I'm so slow. That's another thing. I wish you could just port to your ship, but... I don't know. In towns, you're relatively safe, so I feel like you shouldn't have to. But, you know. these. I'm, I'm really... I'm not trying to be super whiny. I'm just reviewing it as I'm going, so you know what it's about. Okay, thank you. Before I end this video, let me set up our ship so you can see how it is. Food. I'm going to want food since I'm starving. You click on it, you drop it somewhere. Now that's where their food is. There are five servings. I can go there five times. Deck. Hull. Miscellaneous. There it is. Wooden wheel. I'm going to drop it, I guess, right here. There you go. Now it'll go a little faster. I don't know if there's a weight setting or anything. To the best of my knowledge, I can't, like, sink my boat by putting too much weight on it. Either way, it's day four. Uh, I'm going to stop this video. Yeah, and uh, I guess, I know I said I'd, I'd go look at the neutral people, but I guess I'll look at that for tomorrow's video. With that, I'll uh, just pause. You all have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye.